Modern and Contemporary Art Northampton is on the Guildhall Road, based in Northampton Town Centre. They work with all artists at all stages of their careers. Coming up is Third Space's exhibition featuring Northampton-born Saeed Hassan and Vivian Rattray's work. Visit the gallery and the artists. Tracy Clark is the development director for NN and holds regular workshops for artists. It shows me as a designer, like an artist, a designer and a maker. Workshops focus on business modelling, marketing and finance, but there are other clubs and groups do you want more information and inspiration from other artists? Then check out the link below. Next up are Vivian Rattray and Saeed Hassan's work. My name is Jamie Paul. Um, I'm an artist from Earthlingborough, near Wellingborough, and um, I've always been into art since a very young age. Um, but uh, after going to school in, in Wellingborough, I went on to Nen College at Avenue Campus, uh, where I studied for two years doing graphic design. I've been coming to NN Northampton um, since before Christmas, and the expertise of um, Tracy is just outstanding. She's, she's exceptional because she has got so much experience that she's in the business right now and she can point out all the things that you are not doing, that you should be doing. Artists that inspire me um, would be some of the more well-known ones like Kurt Jackson um, and some recent ones that I've discovered are artists such as uh, Stuart Edmondson. Who's there. They're all based down in the sort of Cornwall area, I suppose. The, the one of um, the lady is my wife, Sophie. Um, uh, we weren't married at the time that I painted it, but I painted it because I really wanted to, I wanted to, close, I wanted to get closer to her um, in a different sort of way. So um, our art is obviously very close to my heart, and um, I wanted to create a portrait that said something more than just a, a picture. Um, so obviously I had a picture of her uh, and then I asked her to um, give me a collection of her favourite poems because she's an English teacher. So I asked her to collect all her favourite poems together and then I printed those poems off and used them to create a collage using the words to create the picture. My wife gave me the book uh, War Horse by Michael Morpurgo. Uh, so I read that and I thought that would be such an amazing thing to paint and I had the vision of a horse running through no man's land and at the time I didn't know this but the film was being made uh, so that was quite interesting and what I did to create the actual picture was I, I collected photographs from the trenches in, in uh, World War One and from no man's land and I found a picture of a horse and 
manipulated that and collaged all those things together on Photoshop uh, in order to create um, the image that I wanted to paint. But all the words, uh, I print them all off um, and then I literally use a scalpel blade and a ruler and cut the words of poetry out and then glue, glue them on to the board one at a time until the whole picture is formed. So it's like a giant drawing in a sense but using collage. To add colour to one of my paintings what I do is I do the whole collage in black and white and then I paint it over the, I paint over the top of it with thin glazes of colour to build up a, a rich um, layer of colour over the top of the black and white text. Well, that's one way I've done my self-portrait. Yeah, I collect uh, different plants and things that are from the visit, from the place that I've been in, and I press those so they're nice and flat, put those onto the frame, and then um, I use other materials that I've collected. It can be anything from wallpaper to cardboard to fabrics to, to build up some sort of level of texture. Then I use some, um, some plaster over the top uh, to, to sort of level out the whole plane, the whole plane to paint. Uh, once that's dry, I paint it white, and then I start with just painting straight on top of uh, those surfaces using palette knives and brushes. Uh, my fingers, I love using my hands to paint as well, because it's very immediate. It gets you really in touch with your, your work. Probably took me about about eight hours altogether, but it's um, good when you're painting something to paint it, paint some of it, and go away and come back to it. So you come back with with fresh eyes, I call it. I would say, have faith in yourself and your abilities. Have persistence. Keep trying. If you go and visit people in art galleries, the gallery owners, start talking to them. Not only will you perhaps get the opportunity to exhibit, but you will learn so much about how other artists work, how your work might look in an art gallery, what kind of things the gallery owners are looking for. Um, but these days there's so many opportunities online to sell your work and to start off small and build your experience and start to sell yourself. Pauline Wood from Northamptonshire. My background is in fine art. Um, I did my degree in 2000 at uh, Northampton College, which is Northampton University now. Um, and while I was on that course, I got into printmaking, and I've been involved in printmaking ever since. Once you finish your degree, your MA, um, all the students put on show, and that's every year. So it's been a two-year course. So um, we've just come into the end of our two years now. These works um, came out of um, making concrete pieces, which are not here at the moment, but I wanted a way of displaying them. And in displaying the concrete pieces, um, the plinth that holds the concrete up has become into question. And I have been kind of skirting and dancing around the politics of plinths and um, there d it didn't seem to, a white plinth on its own to support the concrete piece didn't seem to be enough, it had the wrong kind of feeling about it. So I've been experimenting with furniture and other aspects. The chair, even though it's brilliant colour and it has got like a concrete piece on it, didn't work as well with these other pieces. It seemed to activate them too much to be uh, pieces of furniture rather than sitting on the border between a plinth and, a, and something else. Um, it seemed to speak more about the body and uh, these pieces are easily um, moved away from encounters with the body. The pink is, um, is a is a kind of mo mockery or a funny kind of statement about, um, based on uh, the, the jewellery shop, uh, little hexagonal kind of pins that are covered in like a velvet fur or like a little velvet set off the silver or the gold or the watch or something that's on top of them. 
but you can only get them really small and I thought that's great and we like that idea of um, <clears throat> making the concrete something that's unmonumental, valuable, but I've mocked it with the, the pink fur instead. You have to apply, it's really easy, you go onto their website, um, you download a form and you basically state how long you want the room for and what you intend to do. Um, if it's of an experimental nature then more the better and it's a great chance to be able to um, push your practice. I really enjoy working in three dimensions but um, I am a printmaker and um, the, all the work, my work in three dimensions does actually stem from a printmaking exploration and, and so I, I really enjoy going back to that uh, private uh, contemplative printmaking experience. I think it's always been a personal uh, goal to, to, to achieve an MA um, and particularly the final, the final show of an MA um, because it's a chance to be genuine and real and explore your work um, and, have, and just what's inside and how far you can go. Have another source of income <laughs> and um, make time for your work um, and keep going, never don't stop, just keep, keep on going.